Hi everyone, welcome to Live Blogger. In this video, I'll show you how to design these cards using HTML and CSS. And then we'll also use a library called Vanilla Tilt so that when we hover over this card, we can see that the card tilts based on the mouse pointer position. So this is what we're going to design in this video. So let's get started. As always, we will write our code in VS Code. So let me go ahead and create a new file called index.html. And we'll also create one more file for the CSS. All right, let's start with the index.html file. And in VS Code, you have this option of uh, just typing exclamation and pressing tab. And you'll get this HTML5 boilerplate code. And we'll also link our style.css file over here. First of all, we'll design this card and then we'll use the vanilla tilt library. All right, so let's start by creating a container division to hold both these cards. So we'll just create a division with a class of tilt card container. And in that, we'll start by creating a division with a class of tilt card. And then first of all, we need to have a profile image. So we'll create a division for that. So we'll give the class of profile image. And in that we'll have our first image. So I have a folder called images in my project. So we can see that in the images, we have these images. And uh, we also have the Facebook, Instagram and Twitter logos. So we'll have the first image one dot JPG. And then we'll create another division with the class of description. And uh, in that we'll have an H2 for the name. So we'll just give it a class of name. And uh, the first name is Sara G. And then we'll create a division with the class of social. And in that we'll include uh, the logos and the usernames over here. So we'll create an IMG tag. And the first image is uh, Instagram logo. And after that we'll create an anchor tag. And we'll also give it a class of username. And uh, for the href, we can type the URL of the social media account. For now, I'll just type hash. And inside the anchor tag, we can just type the username. So I'll just type Sarah underscore G over here. So now we'll just copy this uh, social division from here and we'll paste it two more times. And uh, for the next one, we will change the logo to Facebook logo. And the third one is Twitter logo. So that's it with the first card. Let's open this with live server. I have an extension called live server installed on VS Code. So if you install that, you'll get this option of opening with live server. So here you can see our card, the images and everything is uh, working perfectly. Now what I'll do is I'll just copy this tilt card division and paste it one more time for the next person. So for the second image, we'll have 2.jpg and uh, the name will be Mike J. And I will just change the usernames. Alright, so that's it with the HTML of our cards. Now let's go to our CSS and start styling this page. The first thing we'll do is we'll target the tilt card container. And we'll set the display to flex so that the cards will be one next to the other. And we'll set a maximum width of 700 pixels. And I will set a font family of Roboto. Now the card sizes are not decreasing because of the size of the image. So first of all, we'll target the tilt card, which is the parent of the image. And we'll give it a width of 300 pixels. And uh, then we'll target the tilt card images. So we'll type dot profile image IMG. And we'll set the width to 100% of the parent and uh, the height to 200 pixels. And now we can see that the height is 200 pixels, but uh, this image is stressed. So for that, we have to use object fit and we'll set it to cover. So now we have the correct proportions for the image. Now for the tilt card container, we'll set the justify content to space around. So we'll have space between these cards. And
and uh, then for the tilt card we will give some more styles we'll set the background color to 0 1 1 6 2 7 and we'll also give a border radius of 20 pixels all right now we'll give some more styles to the image so for the image also we will set a border radius of 20 pixels and we'll give a padding of 8 pixels to the image now we can see that the image is going outside our container division so for that we can use a simple line of CSS code called box sizing border box and now we can see that the image fits perfectly the next class to target is the social icons so we'll just type tilt card social and we'll set the display to flex and align items to center so that uh, these two items will be centered vertically and uh, we'll also give a margin of 12 pixels top and bottom 0 for left and right now we need to have a little bit of margin right to this image so we'll type tilt card social img and we'll set the margin right to 16 pixels now we'll target the description division so we'll just type tilt card description and uh, we'll give a padding of 20 pixels and the padding has been set for the heading but the social division also should have the padding so let's go back to the HTML and see whether we have missed something and here we can see for the description we have just the heading so the description should end after the social divisions so we'll just delete the ending tag from here and uh, we'll just paste it after the social divisions so we'll do the same with the second one as well alright now let's go back to our CSS and uh, let's style the edge to so we'll type tilt card description h2.name and uh, we'll set the color of the text to fdfffc and we'll set the margin top to 0 now let's target the anchor tags which are these usernames so we'll type tilt card description a and we'll set the text decoration to none to get rid of the underlines and then for the color of the text we will set it to fdfffc now if you take a look at the original design we can see that we have this underline after the heading so let's go back to our design and we will use the after pseudo element for that so let's go over here and I will type tilt card description h2.name colon colon after so with the after pseudo element you can add extra information to the element so if you type content hello over here we can see that after every heading we have hello displayed so in this way we can add extra information to our element so for the underline we don't want to have any word so we'll just remove hello from here but we need to keep the content property over here because it is necessary for the after pseudo element All right now we'll give a background color of red we need to position the after pseudo element based on the h2 so here we will type position relative and now here we can type position absolute and we'll set the height to 2 pixels and the width to 20 pixels now we can see this line over here so we'll position it to the bottom and we'll set it to minus 10 pixels now we want to position it at the end of the heading we can see that it is now after the heading so we'll just set the right position to 0 and we'll also set the display of the heading to inline block because right now the heading has a width of 100% so we'll set the display to inline block now we can see that the underline is placed correctly so that's it with the design of our cards now the last thing we need to do is we need to add the library called vanilla tilt and then we can have the 3d tilt effect for our cards so let's google for vanilla tilt so here we have searched for vanilla tilt and uh, this is the web page so let's go to the web page we can see that this library is made using the tilt js library now if you scroll down we can see some more demos this is the most basic and we even have a parallax effect we have the glare effect the reverse tilt and um, 
a lot of different effects over here let's just stick with the most basic usage and uh, if you want you can try the others so I'll just show you how to add this to your web page if you search for vanilla tilt cdn.js you can find the cdn of uh, this library so let's go to this website and uh, we'll just go ahead and uh, copy the link of the JS from here and uh, let's open our uh, VS code and uh, just before the body ends we will add the link of the library so we'll just type script src and uh, here we'll paste the library and the only thing you need to do to add this effect is just type data dash tilt for whichever division you want this effect to happen so we'll just add data dash tilt to the first division as well that's basically it with the tilt effect so let's go back to our uh, web page and uh, now we can see that the tilt effect is working all right we'll just center everything horizontally so let's go to style.css so we'll type margin and for top and bottom we will give 32 pixels of margin and for left and right we'll type auto so now we can see that it is centered and uh, that's basically it for this video if you go to the vanilla tilt js homepage we can see that there are a lot more options which you can tweak with this library so these are all the different options so you can just copy and paste this code in your page and uh, you can just experiment with your code so if you like this video please click on the like button and uh, if you have any doubts you can ask in the comments below and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates thanks a lot for watching have a nice day